Hello guys, it's Andy King from the American College of Science and Technology. Today I'll be showing you guys on how to go about the portal system. Okay, before now you guys might have have your username and password and the portal link where you'll be able to access the online portal where you'll be able to take your text exams and quizzes. Okay, it helps me too much of time. Let's dive deep into it. Now I'm going to share my screen to you and boom is it here now this is our interface of our online portal now we are going to be giving a username and password a unique username and password to log in into this particular mainframe or interface okay now, for example I use a student use a student username and password okay uh, Cosat as a student and the password and we'll log it in Okay, so after I might have done that, it's going to take us to the main interface where you can access the courses or the modules. Now, here we have three boxes, six boxes, sorry. Now, under the each box, you see we have a course here, a profile, my books, documents, choice, and work. Okay, now reading the right subs on that, it clearly explains what the box is all about. But I'm going to give an explanation of it. Now, for courses, these are the particular subjects which you'll be taking, okay? Some of you, some software engineers will see they have 10 courses of 10 subjects which they have to take, meaning that the first semester you have four, the second semester you have six. That's why most of you have 10 courses there, okay? Now, this one I'm having only three because it's just a sample. It's called a sample. I'm just using a sample as you can see the name here. It's just a sample to show you guys on how the whole system works. Okay, so second, you have a profile. Here, you can create a profile for yourself. Okay, yes, making it more easier for the lecturer to identify you. All right here, you can put your personal picture, you can put your username, change your username and password, put your phone number, and every other thing. Okay, that's the whole profile system for you. It's not going to affect the administration, it's just your own personal identity. Okay, now, second, you have the box that has to do with my books. My group is a profile wherein books are uploaded. Here at this left part corner of the my screen, you see that we have a school library. Now, when you click on that school library, you have tons of notes or textbooks with the lecturer or the administration tend to upload from time to time. To help you guys go about notes online when you are given an assignment and you look for some textbook to go and read this school library is there to guide you both on Microsoft, on the mental computer, network topology, programming, operating system. Okay, from time to time it will be updated. I mean the lecturers will be uploading notes on the school library. Okay. Documents. This is just like a shelf or like a library of yours where you can upload documents, save for yourself. For example, if you're given an assignment and it's not due to submit it, you can just create a, a, a shelf for yourself where you can keep documents. You can transfer them from your OneDrive or your Google Drive and keep them here temporarily. Then you can send them to your lecturer whenever you do, just like a shelf where you keep things. Okay. Second, this draw it is just like a wall, mostly for those using graphic design, where they can make some sketch work, draw, and keep it on, on your portal. So my wall is just like also has to do with whatever you want to share whenever you want to share a link with your lecturer okay for example you see some here yeah? this is the lecturer in charge of microsoft office okay because whatever whatever link notes media just look at this top right you see we'll have links file if you want to share it you can upload a link a video and share it to your lecturer directly okay so this is what all these boxes are there for now let's go into the main issue for the day now when you click on the box now, most of you will be asking, sir, how can we take tests? How can we take quizzes? How can we take exams with this portal? It's very simple. The more, the, the more work is done by the lecturers, but for you guys, we just have to do to sit back. You have a calendar or time. Lecturer will tell you this is the time you have to go to your portal and sit to a particular quiz. For example, I'll use Microsoft Office quiz as an example to show you guys how it works. Now, for instance, when you click on the Microsoft, package you are going to make up a some menu like this we have the course stream you have the section you have activities like exam assessment quiz discussion 
Okay, now I'm going to use the opportunity to take a quiz for you guys to see how it works. Now, the quizzes can come in several form. Okay, the quiz can come in several form. Just the way we have exams. This is the first MS Office quiz. Okay, and when you click on it, it's going to take you to a particular where you see take quiz. Okay, now before then, the lecturer is going to give you guys a particular day or date when you have to take the quiz. Have a starting day and ending date. Okay, maybe you can choose maybe from now, which is the, the 21st of May to June 8th, okay? Within this time frame, you guys will be notified in your calendar. I'll have a calendar space where you guys will be notified that yes, you have a particular day, exam on a particular day, okay? You as well can also upload it, reminding you that so, 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 day, you have to take a particular quiz, okay? So back to the quiz. Now, when you click on this quiz menu, you see an option right here at the top right corner telling you to take the quiz, okay? Now, that means you're ready to take the quiz. When you're ready, you can just click on the take quiz and the quiz which has been set by the lecturer is not going to pop up. Now, when it pops up, what you do, the quiz can be in the form of multiple choice question, can be in the form of matching question, can be in the form of composition question, can be in the form of filling the gap. Okay, so this quiz is being set in a pattern wherein all these different uh, um, questions are being set. Now, for example, each question has a point attached to it. Okay, for example, they can ask the most essential input device. You have more different input devices. You can choose to click anywhere. For example, if you put keyboard, now this is like filling the gap questions. Keyboard, sorry. Word. These are uh, examples of filling the gaps questions. Okay, after you might have done that, you can go to the second question. Computer is made up of wood. Is it true or false? If it's true, you can click on it. Now, this is a multiple choice question. You can, this is true or false question. Sorry, you can click it to be true or you can click it to be false. So let's say it is true. It's just an example. Let's say computer is made up of wood. Okay, it's just an example. You know it's made up of, it's not made up of food. But let's go. So now these are short answer questions, call it SAQ question. What is a computer? You can tend to type a computer here. We can write a computer, sorry. Computer is an electronic device based on how you are being taught, okay, by the lecturer. These are short answer questions where you can put it like this and send. Okay. Now you can meet up questions which are like matching questions. Now these are matching questions. Okay. As they match the basic part of these parts of computer to where you where they are located. Match the basic parts to their locations. Okay. So we take screen. Where can we find the screen? When you click on this drop down box, you can see you can find it in the monitor, CPU, um, box office, blah blah blah. If it is, for example, we know it's in the monitor, we can click on the monitor. You match it you now at the hard drive. Where can we find the hard drive? Hard drive can be found in the CPU. You can change the CPU. Now, remember, each question answer has a five mark attached to it. Okay, now the quiz can be taken the way the exams can be taken this way as well. Okay, now when you end up, any question you answer will be shaded in a light blue color, right? In a light blue color. So, when you go to the next question. Ask what's the name of your college? American College, Forabe College, Miss Magai College. These are multiple choice questions. So all these and as well, you have a time attached to it. You have a time. The lecturer has said it's timing. It's not that you can just answer and leave it and go. When you start the question, is going whenever the time ends, everything stops. Okay. So this system is automatic. This system is unique. You cannot bypass it. Right. What's the name of your college, American College? You click on it. And when you are done, you submit before the time. If you did not submit before the time, it's going to cut you off automatically. And whatever score you have, that's the score. So you have to beat the time and making it fast enough. The lecturer can tend to put one hour 30 minutes. So let me not talk too much. So my time will not go off quickly, okay? You intend to submit. You ask, are you sure you want to submit? You click OK. Now, after reading, the computer automatically will grade you. Okay, it's going to grade you. Now, this grade will be seen at the lecturer's, uh, what is it called, platform. Okay, after having your submission, you can also check your scores as well. Okay, 
So let us see to know what we have scored. Now, the sample question we have, we have taken the point. Now here is the questions, and these are your answers. You earn 10 points out of 25, okay? You see, here you can tell that your, the American college you choose was correct. Computer made up of wood you choose is wrong. What is a computer electronic device? It was not marked because that was not how the lecturer has programmed it to be, okay? And once you have been marked, the most essential part of the computer keyboard. So this is just the way everything is going to be at the end. You're going to see how many points you have earned, okay? So that's why it's very important to take the class, read the notes when the lecturer has uploaded it to you. Now, you might ask, how will you get this note? Now, when you come to this um, section, sorry, course stream, section, uh, sorry, when you click on it, you have that one type, it means with one, okay? That week one, you'll be able to see all the whole notes. For example, when you click on this, this is a note. When you click on this, the lecturer will be uploading notes from time to time, okay? Each note he uploads is going to tell you guys if notes have been uploaded, okay? And you guys will go to the portal and use it. So when a note is being uploaded, you can study it online as well as downloading it, okay? Some of you guys might tend to ask, sir, how do we tend to download this note? Now, when it's open this way, you can read it on your system. You can go through it bit by bit, one after the other, as you read it one after the other as well. Then if you want to download it, you can also download it because Akosat has designed a platform where you can download your notes and keep it to your own. Now, this small box at this corner of every note means download, okay? When you click on it, it automatically downloads the note into your device. On your own convenience and you can read it and answer questions on your own. Okay, for time for tests, for time for quizzes, you have to go to the portal and answer it. Okay, that's the uniqueness of this portal. That means you see it's now on my device. I can now download it on my device and keep it. Okay, so if you look at the left corner, you see where do you want to save this particular note? Save it anywhere you want it to be. Okay, so I believe this one is quite easy and it's down. Boom, it's in my device already. I can now open it and read it whenever I want to. Now it's in my device. So going back to this section, now we have, they, we have tried to cover the slides for the uh, quiz, and I believe everything is clear. Now for stuff like slides, now the lecturer might also tend to upload slides to a particular portal. Now just we have our normal slides in our slides that will be created and sent to different groups to study. The lecturer can also tend to create a slide in the portal itself. And I'm not going to get a slide uh, on, on the soft copy form. It's only going to be left in the portal. Now, what do I mean? Now, when you click to this course, for example, use software engineering as an example, because our lecturer, Mr. Razak, has uploaded a note. Mr. Mansari Abdul Razak has uploaded a slide note on the portal. I need to show you, show you how the slide and notes looks like. Okay, this, this lecture is going to be a long one, so you guys don't need to panic because this is where the main theme is. Okay, now these are a slide that looks like. Now, the lecturer will upload everything on these slides on the portal. Okay, this part is for week one, as you guys can see. Now, the name of the lecturer. The topic, the definition, and call, everything is there. Now, this is how the slider looks like. Lecturer tend to give, put every note here. You can go through the notes bit by bit. What is software engineering? Have a slider, slide by slide for you guys to understand, okay? So it's very simple, as simple as that. Now, another way the lecturer can also give you guys the exercise. Let's use a um, computerized mathematics course, Mr. our lecturer, Mr. Tolomatic has uploaded a just short quiz on computerized mathematics in another form, in another manner. Now, the lecturer can tend not to fix the text or the quizzes on the portal. The lecturer can just tend to design his own form, give it in a piece of paper and upload it to that particular portal where you guys should be able to assess it. For example, this computerized mathematics, he has a quiz which he has uploaded to the portal, but it's, not, it's called quiz one, but it's not something you guys to panic about. It's just like it, trying to observe how the portal works. Okay, now, looks like this. When you click on the exam documents, because he has it on his device and how to upload it. You see stuff like this uploaded on his device. 
So here you can answer the question, but not directly. Now we have the less talk point and we have the comment. Okay, there you can comment your answers and tell the lecturer I want it to be. The lecturer will communicate to you guys how you want the assignment to be done. So I believe you guys have learned a lot from this portal. If you have any questions, I'll be sending this video to the orientation group. So if you have any questions, let me know so I can help you guys answer the questions, okay? But I believe what be the explanation, everything is clear, right? So thank you very much, guys. Have a nice day.